Have some of those kind of X plays that, that you hit last game, how much does that, that change a game and, and make the defense start thinking about something, something else? It makes a difference, no doubt. You know, whenever <clears throat> you're able to, to get those explosive plays, shorten drives just by, by yard needed to gain, um, definitely, you know, gets the defense on their heels. And, um, you know, when they, when they want to stack the box and we can take advantage of some, some looks down the field, it helps. Says uh, Sunday is not a revenge game. Are you uh, of that mindset as well? Yeah, no doubt. Just like I said after um, after Thursday night, you know that was that was last year. Half this team, you know, wasn't even here. So um, this is a new team facing another new team. Um, obviously, a, a game we want to win, but it has nothing to do with last year. You've been around a lot of rookie receivers. Anything unique about Traylon, just as far as his mindset, approach, maybe how he handles his work? He's a he's a heck of a player. You know, young guy coming in. Um, done everything we've asked him to do. And I think there's a lot of learning experiences along the way, but um, you know, he's been great to work with. He, he's, he's easy to work with. He's talented, obviously. He's got size, he's got strength, great hand, judges the ball well, uh, can run. So he has everything you're looking for, and uh, he's doing a really good job of, of everything we're asking him to do. So I want to just keep the, keep the pressure on him, uh, keep him growing in our offense, and um, you know, he's going to continue to make plays for us. This team has those guys periodically flash like he did, and sometimes it doesn't sustain it or build on it based on how somebody defends you or the game plan or, or, or whatever? How do you kind of balance that line between not necessarily forcing it to him but continuing to grow what he's doing? Yeah, just uh, take advantage of the opportunities that come. You know, each each game is different. Each defense is different. You know, not only scheme, but uh, the guys you're playing against. So it's going to present different opportunities each and every week. So um, when, the, when the opportunities arise, we want to hit them, take advantage of them. And um, just understanding that, you know, not every game is going to play out the exact same way. How significant was this time off uh, for you personally in the ankle? How, how are you feeling? Yeah, getting there. You know, still, uh, still healing. But um, definitely the extra time off is nice and just want to continue progressing. I know this game isn't a revenge game. But for you, just from a mental recovery standpoint, how has the year gone? Like, do you notice anything different? Did you learn anything new about yourself you know, going from that point to where you are now? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, uh, I don't know exactly uh, what you're looking for there, but uh, yeah, I mean, every every year is a learning experience. You, you're learning uh, the guys around you. You're learning the, the nuances of of how things are going throughout throughout the year. And so, you know, each and every year is is a little bit different. There's a little bit different mental side to it. Um, and yeah, I think um, you know myself and, and everyone included has has grown mentally, you know, throughout the challenges of this year. Passing game that the last couple of games, Ryan, does it give you sort of optimism that that maybe a little bit of a corner has been turned, you know, compared to some of the earlier weeks of the of the season? Yeah, we want to keep building. You know, we just want to keep building and what we're able to do and, and how we're attacking defenses. Uh, the receivers have been doing and tight ends have been doing a great job of of taking advantage of the opportunities. Like I said, you know, every week's going to be different, and. Um, when we get those opportunities to make the plays, our guys have been stepping up and, and making them. So I got to tip your hats to those guys. And, and like I said, you want to keep the foot on the gas and, and keep growing as an offense. It's, it seems like every week you guys have the, uh, the matchup advantage with Dontrell Hillary going against whoever he's going against. What has he done just to really step up and be able to lead the team in touchdown receptions? Uh, he d does everything we ask him to do. Obviously, um, he's savvy out of the backfield. Uh, he does a good job for us in protections, uh, first of all. And then uh, with that, we're able to, to get him out and, um, in routes. And uh, you know, he's fast. He he's catches the ball really well, has a good feel for you know, how to set up defenders, how to attack defenders based on leverage. And he's done a really good job with it. It kind of remains to be seen about Ben and whether he gets out of protocol or not. But how, how did you think Brew did? On Thursday night, and maybe how is it adjusting to a new center um, when you're not when you're used to playing with Ben? Yeah, I was really happy with Brew. You know, came in there on a short week, not a lot of time to prepare, and, and did a great job for us. You know, he uh, he handled the communication up front for the offensive line, kind of set the table for us, um, clean in the huddle, clean operation with all the snaps and everything. So um, to to see a guy slide over from from guard to center with hardly any preparation, I was really proud of him. 69 guys in a coaching staff, largely behind closed doors with, with nobody else allowed in to see. How much is that part of what builds the chemistry, the camaraderie of, of a good football team? Well, it's definitely part of it. You know, the tone that gets set each and every day in the meeting room, you know, starting with Coach Vrabel uh, and the message that he preaches, you know, whether it's the message of the week or, or the overall, you know, foundation of the program. Um, 
you know, gets everyone to buy in. And then when you see it work, uh, you know, throughout the year and on game days, gets the players to, to really lock in and engage it and, um, and buy into it. So um, that's definitely where the, the table is at. Is the closed circle part kind of important? You're leaning on each other. You kind of know each other in a special way. And it, it's kind of you and everybody else. Well, I think I think that's definitely part of it. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all we got when we step out on that field. You know, it doesn't really matter, you know, what people are saying or what's going on outside. Um, as soon as the ball is kicked, you have your teammates, your coaching staff, and, and everyone you prepared with, and that's all you got. So you really have to lean into each other during those times and um, go out there and battle and find a way to win games. Talk about how almost half this team is was, wasn't here from last year. This team kind of got off to a slow start. How much do you feel like – that you guys are starting to trend in the right direction and starting to get back to what you had last year where it's finding a way to win no matter what. Yeah, I think we've done some good things. And um, you know, so I have a lot of room to improve. So that's the goal each and every day as we come out here um, and, and find a way to improve, whether it's mentally, physically, in your preparation, in your recovery. Um, and then ultimately, you got to find a way to win games. And I think we've done that over the, the course of the past you know, seven or eight weeks and, and definitely is going to be the number one thing as we move forward. Some of their personnel has changed, as you mentioned. But how, what do they do on defense that, that maybe gives offenses trouble? Yeah, they're they're good defense. They're solid all the way around. Um, big physical front. Um, they they make things tough. They're long on the edges, big in the middle. Uh, their backers are, are running all over. Uh, they have a, a veteran secondary who's seen a lot of football, understands you know concepts and, and how they're getting attacked, and uh, has really good instincts. So. Um, you look at them top to bottom, it's a, it's a solid defense. I know that you're not comparing that to last game, last year's game, but the fans obviously take a different take in that, and they kind of want revenge on Bengals. So is it nice to have them here and have an opportunity again to, to maybe get a win for, for the fans? And what have you thought about the crowds this year at Nissan Stadium? The crowd's been great. Um, it's fun. Anytime you get to step on, on Nissan and, and play in front of your home fans, uh, it's an exciting day. And so this day is no different. want to go out there and, and find a way to win. Uh, kind of joked that uh, that when he was told that he had three touchdown passes in his career, that he was like a young Peyton Manning. Is he lobbying for extra chances, or do you you know how do you maybe tell him okay that's enough for the year? <laughs> uh, you know, if Derek gets another opportunity, that'd be great. You know, as long as it's a, it goes for a touchdown or a completion, you know, I'm happy with it. Momentum-wise, do you like take from last week's game? Are you able to carry that into this week, or is that something that? It kind of starts from from today and rolls into the game. How do you go like your approach that momentum process? Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit, but at the end of the day, each game is different, right? So you, you'd like to build on what you did well, you know, in the game before and, and the games before leading up to this point. Um, you know, ideally, you're you're making corrections and, and growing from from each and every game. So uh, I definitely think there's there's an aspect to to growing on on what we've done the past few weeks. And like I said, just keeping the foot on the gas and, and trying to find ways to improve. Mike. Uh, as you start this game week, uh, status with Todd, is it something that you just leave, you keep working until the legal process, the league process can, uh, comes to a conclusion, or how do you handle that now? Well, we'll continue forward with, uh, you know, how things were as Todd is our offensive coordinator. Um, now, now those things could change. You know, I want to make sure that everybody understands that at any point in time when we hear from the league or, you know, that um, – you know, the, the legal process, you know, those things could obviously change. I, I want to make sure that everybody understands that. But as it, you know, right now, you know, that's where we're at status quo. Why not be proactive and, uh, and not wait on the league and do something as an organization rather than wait and, and let the league handle a difficult situation? And, and again, I appreciate that. I do. Um, I think it's uh, my experience, uh, the organization's experience, that we'll just wait. Uh, for everything to play out, and and then, you know, obviously, um, if the decisions uh, that we make um, require us to be held accountable, we'll absolutely do that. Um, our entire focus now has got to be on Cincinnati. That's um, what I told the team. That's what I expressed, and I'm confident that we'll do that. So the way you phrase that, I, I, I think maybe – you said if the decisions we make require us to be held accountable, you don't feel the decisions that you've made require you to be well, held accountable? I, I think that, uh, again, our focus is on Cincinnati. We understand that, um, you know, there's things outside of football that we have to deal with. Um, and, and certainly in this case that 
that we'll have to do that. So uh, this is the decision. This is where we're at right now. And uh, so that could obviously change. What's plan B if there is a change, Mike? Well, right now I'm just focused on Cincinnati and, you know, we've got a bunch of people in place. So, you know, our full focus has to be on Cincinnati. Uh, they've won four, you know, four of their last five games. Uh, you know, listen to them talk. This is right where they were last year. And uh, this is really when they started to take off. So we'll have to do the same thing. We'll have to try to continue to improve. How much of the playoff game, maybe what you knew about them back in January, helped you in preparation for this one? You know, I mean, it's, it, this is not a revenge game. More than half of our team isn't even, didn't even play in that game. Um, but I think trying to have some familiarity with, with who they are, um, have a lot of respect for them, obviously, in all three phases. Um, so that might help, Jim. There may be some carryover. You know, I'm sure they're still going to try to get the ball to their elite skill players and uh, who, whoever those may be based on availability. Uh, defensively, they're going to make it tough for you. And uh, you know, very, very good front and uh, aggressive secondary. Ryan, he, he said, you know, Tatty always said this game, you know, last year put him in a dark place. He wanted to attack this year with a new desire for, for winning. Uh, how have you seen him just kind of bounce back uh, from that downtime after losing that, that game? As a group, you guys lost, but how has he, how has he bounced back? Well, I think that that would be best for Ryan to, to talk through. You know, I think that, you know, coming off the last week's game, you know, we have to try to continue to do that could see that when we give him time and, you know, we're available and he was very accurate. So I think it was a good case of a lot of things coming together, his decision making, our protection and um, and guys being being where they need to be. So that'll obviously have to continue. Uh, we'll see how that uh, that goes against the Bengals. Well, those lines, do you feel like have you've you sort seen of... anything from your perspective just in, in dealing with them uh, this year as opposed to the mental recovery year? is a big thing for all of us. Uh, our ability to to handle things uh, positively and, un, you know, unfortunately negatively that happened to us. So our ability to try to keep things into perspective and, and make sure we understand where we are right now. How much do you like given? you've made some changes or, or maybe turned a bit of a corner in the, in the passing game the last couple of weeks, seen some things maybe that you didn't see, you know, earlier in the season at all? Uh, you know, every week is a new new page. Every day is a new page in this league. So there's you know, just about trying to make some progress and improve in, in a lot of different areas. How much has the return of Traylon, and especially the game he had the other night, helped to kind of open things up and give you more balance in the on the offense? Well, it helped the other night. You know, I was able to track a couple deep balls and and you know continue to improve and develop and you know get a get a lot of great experience. So. You know, we'll see how we you know, prepare this week, and, and hopefully, ultimately, what matters is what happens on Sunday. What was, was the element, though, that, of the speed and the yards after catch type of thing that he brought the other night? Can that help open up things for other guys underneath? I mean, I think that if you know he's taking guys with him down the field, then we probably aren't going to throw it down the field. And if there's one guy, then Ryan feels comfortable, then he'll probably, you know, take a chance and. Um, I think that just building the confidence with the quarterback is is critical. That when you throw it, you know we're, we have a you know an ability to come down with it. I guess with Taylor return to practice today, it's safe to say kicking situation for Sunday to be determined. Yeah, I would say that probably to be determined. Um, you know, we'll see how that goes. Excited to see you know Caleb kick and and start to work back into the mix. Um, you know, he's worked hard to get back, and and obviously we'll see how Randy feels. Well, I think structurally it, it's probably the, the same. Um, you know, Joe, Joe throws to the guy that's open. I mean, I think he's got guys. I think when Jamar's in there, that's that's who anybody would probably look to first. Maybe they have a few more plays that were designed for for Jamar. Um, but it, it's still there, – there's a lot of different options, you know, really as um, – Got a lot of trust in, in Hayden and Boyd inside, and, and, and what T's been able to do outside is, you know, if you don't cover the backs, he, he throws to the guy that's open, and, and they gain yards. See the same thing from Burrow on film now that you did last year when you were scouting? Yeah, very accurate. I meant willing to, to kind of wait some things out. 
Um, in a quick game, he makes you know great decisions. He likes to work. You know, he's comfortable and empty, and you know the different you know two by two concepts, three by one concepts that they have. Mike, when Harvey out of uh, concussion protocol, I'm sorry. Did Ben Jones out of concussion protocol? Uh, no, I don't think the final stages have been been cleared there yet. Mike, regardless of the personnel you guys have had available week in and week out, what have you found from a coaching? perspective has been key to um, helping empower guys to, to play at their best? Well, I think you build a you know connection with the guys by putting time in and, and teaching them, um, you know, trying to give them keys or, or tips that are going to help them do their job. And, you know, usually guys take advantage of it, you know. So I think guys coming in on a short week and Believing that they have an opportunity to play in the game, you know, get some engaged, and then um, you know we try to coach everybody that comes through here. How much does Jeffrey's double rate go up without Danico there, and how do things change for him? Uh, I think we'll have to see. You know, I mean, there was times where Jeff's single blocked, and you know he's got to impact the game. Um, you know, we'll have to have a plan. For, for whatever it is. And obviously, a big key will be affecting the quarterback. We know how critical that is each and every week. Um, you know, so we'll kind of have to see how the, how the game unfolds. You talked uh, an, uh, at the, after that last game against Cincinnati about getting turnovers. That seems to be an area that your defense has gotten much better at this year. Uh, how much more improvement can you get out well, of Well, I mean, I think a lot. I mean, we've, we've dropped some interceptions. Um, we have to have more attempts. You know, at the ball, you know, we have to hit at it more. We have to punch at it more to try to knock it out of the quarterback's hand. That's no offense to quarterbacks, but that's usually the easiest target on the field. Uh, and then when we do knock them out, we have to recover them. So we had one the other night. You know, I felt like coming out of that game, we did some really good things, but, you know, our ball disruption attempts you know, probably wasn't where it needs to be. Is there an update on Kyle Phillips? returning from IR eligible now. Do you expect to see him out there this week at practice? Um, I don't think I'd expect to see Kyle out there this week.